Hello everyone and welcome to Austria for the final action of the GP2 weekend. The picturesque scenery of the Styrian Race Hills yesterday, so Van Dorn had to battle through. That's why he starts in eighth position. Yellily finished eighth, that's why he's on reverse grid pole. Then Harianto, Rossi, Markolov, Matsushita with his best ever finish yesterday. Then Lin did so well to battle through to the podium. He was third then, he's sixth now. Then Sorokin, Van Dorn, Peak. Evans, Visoyu, and Jordan King. Pierre Gasly had a nightmare with damage. And we're underway with a poor start for Yellily. He's going to lose the lead immediately, or is he? Bogged down initially. Harry Anto should have the line on the inside. He has lockups at the back and a spin. He's like going to go all the way around. Rossi just about holds it. Contact between Yellily as Harry Anto continues in the lead. Markolov up to second and Van Dorn already up into third position as Yellily and Rossi got into each other at turn number one. A lockup. Exactly what we were talking about as Harry Anto slows it down for turn number two and the pack continues through. We see what a disaster. Once again. Yeah, from sixth place there, Alex Lynn getting an initial jump but then stalling the engine and everyone just avoiding him further back there. We saw an enormous smash yesterday in the GP3 feature race. And so many cars had to take avoiding action. Great reactions from the entire field to avoid an enormous accident with sixth place man Lin. And that not what he needed for his championship. We see Rossi sort of turning in on Yellily, who was all crossed up. And then there was contact between Markolov and Yellily on the exit of the corner. Yeah. Let's go on board. Yeah, there were three wide here. Rossi initially going for the inside, then realising that's going to be shut off, going for the outside. And now behind them, they've got Matsushita and Markolov, both with massive lockups. And uh, that might have caught Yellily's attention. He straightened up and, uh, and just clipped Rossi round. This is what it looked from Raffaele's. Uh, Marcello's point to view going in. Cars absolutely everywhere. As he managed to get past Rossi, Rossi has now repassed him in the opening stages of this race. This was the lock-up for Harry Anto on the opening lap with Markolov giving chase. The gap at the front now half a second as Liao running wide at turn number eight and dropping three positions immediately coming into the pit lane. And I'm not sure if he was lap, But it's Harry Anto from Markolov. Markolov chasing his first win in the series. King going down the inside of after peak. That is for eighth position in the race at the moment of course the final points paying position but peak is coming back at him back at him peak going for the outside here but the, the real winner from that lap one was van dorn eighth to third already and he's past rossi who we thought back at the front of this race markolov going in search of victory and staying with harry anto much okay, remember closer to this manage time your tires. remember to manage your tires we have 28 laps in total it's very close now though markolov Good pace, two tenths quicker than Ariento on that lap. Be a lap down. So into the second turn. Don't think they've turned DRS back on due to the fact there's a bit of rain in the air because Markolov out. Oh, they have now. Markolov's got it this time. He didn't have it. And down now in the second zone, trying to go for the lead, very close to the back of the rear tire of Harianto. Not working at this stage for him, but he is really putting the pressure on the Indonesian driver. And I tell you what, if there's one driver not, not afraid to throw in a lunge, it's Artem Markolov. Raffaele Marcello in 12th position. Not the weekend he would have expected, given how strong he was last year. But the satisfaction of overtaking his teammate, Binder, the top 10. But what frustration for Alex Lin after stalling. He's really got the pace at this stage. And he's been robbed by that issue at the start of the race because you would have expected by now the leaders to catch him and lap him. And Markolov there, I think, got a really good drive out of turn two. He's going to have the DRS open. This maybe he's going to be able to force Ariento at least to defend down into turn three here. We haven't seen that so far. No lunge in the mirrors. Oh, he's going down the inside. What an opportunistic move that was. But he's damaged the car. He's off the racetrack. He tried a late lunge. He knew he'd have to do something special. But would that have punctured the tire? Look at it one more time. He clearly was getting agitated that he couldn't get through. That is so late in the braking zone. And the contact there with the left rear wheel and the front right end plate. I wonder if actually he was just carrying too much speed. He had a choice of either hitting the back of Harry Anto or just chucking it up the inside. He was not going to make the corner there. He released the brakes to not hit the back of, uh, of Harry Anto. And Matsushita has joined him for company. 
and still Harry Anto leads. I know it's difficult, but you, your man, you are doing well, Rio. Come on. And he certainly is to have had that system. So, Harry Anto, what are we about to see here? Over the curbs and the wheels off the ground. A bit of a jump, and that is how hard he is pushing in the Campos to try and take his second win in the sport. Well, so this is a very small gap, but it's been very small for pretty much 25 laps the whole race and Harry Anto, the pressure he soaked up has been huge but he's not put a foot wrong he's defended when he's had to pretty much against Markelov and he's just been quick in the right places but he's got a bit wide there at Van Dorn, super close it's not going to happen on the last lap is it it's not going to be taken away from him there that would be cruel but Van Dorn has had so many laps to size up the opportunity they've got to get it done now as they cross over the start finish line to start this the final lap yeah, so and difficult to overtake these final two corners Arianta's just got to keep it on the road it's easy to make a mistake as Nico Rosberg will tell you through here but through turn eight five through turn nine fantastic drive what an absolutely astonishing drive from Rio Harianto one of the great rear guards in GP2 history to take only his second win in the series Van Dorn denied a double win and Matsushita with his first ever podium the top four finishing over the line separated by only one right point three seconds. seconds a brilliant rear guard performance by Rio Harianto sees him win here in Austria then Van Dorn, a first podium for Matsushita. Sorokin completes a strong weekend in fourth. Then Evans, Gasly, King and Markalov, who challenged for the lead, but dropped down to eighth. Then Rossi, who spun at the start. Visoyu, Marcello, no points from the weekend is a nightmare for him. Then Peak, De Jong is 13th. Then Nato, Binder, Stanaway, Sorensen, Berton, Trummer on his return to the sport. Stockinger.